In this video we have a tooth set up and we have gum that's been sculpted. We'd like to reduce the gum so that we can put porcelain or composite over the top. We also want to make thimbles so the thimbles will be connected to implants which are underneath. At this stage the the tissue, the gum, protrudes through the model and the teeth protrude through the gum. So these have basically just been shifted around up to this stage. Now there's quite a lot to uh, uh, do in this video, but the first thing we want to do is we'd like to reduce the gum into a smaller version of this object. So here we're going to go to the crown module and click on the frames menu, then select the gum, which again is protruding through the model and the teeth are protruding through the gum. As you can see, there's nothing's been cut or altered. Select the tissue, the object, and then we're going to select the restoration and create a frame. This in turn is going to reduce this frame and make it smaller. If you need information on the lower tooltip, it'll tell you by how much, and then we're going to accept this. Following that, you're going to have a reduced object, and then we're going to demonstrate where the full contour is, that's a full contour, and the reduced uh, contour is underneath it. Now we want to use that one because this is the one where we're going to manually add a composite or porcelain or whatever it may be. So that, this button over here, you can hide things and show things. I'm going to enable it so we can select it. I need to be able to select it because we're going to use it as a cutting tool. Before we get to the cutting of it, I'm going to splay the teeth apart with the anti-collision. As they are set up, the contacts are very tight, so I want to move them apart. I'm going to go to the crown module, anti-collision, and then click on the individual. Now nothing's worked. Always look at your tool tips, they will tell you what to do. In this instance, it's telling me to move my teeth into the correct collection which I forgot to do earlier. Now they've disappeared, but they are in the correct collection, which means that we can perform this procedure. Going back down to this menu, I'm going to select all of these teeth, and the, the last one I'm going to select last, and click on individual selection of teeth. All of these teeth will turn green except for the pillar tooth and everything is going to move away from that grey tooth. So I'm going to move out of collision and I love how this works and it's actually just displayed them apart so that the contacts are at zero so they're only just touching. In this next step I want to cut those teeth with the, the original full contoured gum so that we can actually get it to, to cut correctly. But because the cutting tool, the actual full contour gum isn't quite right, I'm moving, I'm grabbing the mesh in edit mode with proportional editing on to a better location so that when it does cut through my teeth that it is a solid cut all the way through each and every tooth. Then I'm going to select all of these teeth individually, don't select anything else, and then we're going to go to the menu in the wax up module. And this is very important because the wax up module will cut it in a way that we can delete the actual cut surface. So wax up module cutting tools and these are the objects that are being cut. Now I'm going to click on that and then we're going to select the tissue and we're going to make that the object making the cut. Now each and every tooth is going to be cut separately. Now, this takes a little bit of time so please be patient and then apply this. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent. So they've been all cut. We're going to go control I and hide just to see that everything is okay. Here we can uh, see that the surface has all been cut, but we've also got these small little remnants all over the place. And they are all called restoration because they are part of the restoration that's been cut and we don't we don't necessarily want to have those on the scene so i'm going to select all of these and i'm going to separate them then i'm going to select all of them and then i'm going to use Control i which selects the inverse and x delete and that will get rid of all the other bits and pieces again by selecting all of them we're going to clear away the fitting surface. So delete inside cutting surface. We have a whole row of hollow teeth. This is the foundation for us to make thimbles. I'm going to look at this from the top view, go to the thimble menu, and we're going to always save our files. Make sure you save your fi our files. I'm going to then select all of my hollow teeth and we're going to then design thimbles from the top view. It'll snap the view and this means that it has all been performed correctly and it's, been, it's given a coordination to each and every one of these thimbles. So these are part of your actual tooth, but we can manipulate the inside of these teeth. In order to manipulate it, I will demonstrate. We're going to select one of the teeth and I'm going to go up with the arrow up and the minus will make it narrower. I'll, but you can see that it's coming out on the side, which isn't good. So I'm going to click the top, which will then edit. It goes into edit mode. We can use the S key, the G key, the R key, S, X key, and then we're going to do all of them to get to a, a good, like a, a, a preparation. Using the G key, the S, X key, and the R key to rotate. We're going to move through each and every one of these teeth to get a good thimble. Once done, I'm going to again select all of these and we're going to view it from the top one more time. And then we're going to complete the thimbles. It says top view. Wait for it to calculate. There's quite a lot of work that's been doing behind the scene. All right, these are your thimbles. They are slightly offset at 0.1. You can change this offset if you like, but here I'm going to cut the crown fitting surface. This is going to separate out the crowns and it will then create these objects. You've got the crown and you've got the thimble underneath. Now that we have the thimbles made, I'm going to unhide everything. And then we're going to just do a little bit of object management. Select your object, go look for the outliner and click on the monitor to hide it more permanently. Likewise, over here we need to change a few things. So I'm going to go into edit mode, magnet tool on, left click and use the G key just to bring those vertices out a little bit. Now 
these implants need to still be covered. We'll do that in the following steps. Hide it and we're going to then select our, our objects and we're going to do a bit of object management. So our thimbles are hidden. Select your generated thimble crowns. Go to the outliner and just simply hide the entire collection. Next, we're going to create the following necessary assemblies for these implants so that we can connect them to our hybrid eventually. Select each one of these interfaces and then go to the crown module and then make sure that you select the abutment and make a tube and then accept the tube. You're going to be doing this for each and every one of these implant interfaces. Please be patient while this is calculating. It can sometimes take a while. Please also analyze your mesh structure. Here we've got a completed structure which is connected to implants, but I've noticed that we have a small hole in it. Now this essentially is not good. So we're going to go Control Z back a few times. I've gone back to a scene which I can recognize and this is where we have voxel remeshed our structure. Then I'm going to go into edit mode and I can see where the problem is. So tab, edit mode, proportional editing is on, magnet tool is off, use the G key and I'm going to move this up a little bit. So the reason for that is because that implant is so very deep inside of this mesh. Usually this is not the case. And then I'm going to go back to the crown module and we're going to hit the generate fixture key one more time. Please be patient. Then control I and then H to hide and that hole is now gone. This is what I'd like to see. And then finally we can smooth it one more time. Click on smooth crown with protection and smooth it down. This is why it is very important to do the smoothing before you've connected them to the implants. It makes everything way simpler. There may be some post-processing work to do after production just to make sure that it is more hygienic because the implants are so very deep inside of this object. Finally, we want to make the holes going through the structure. Select your hole cutters and move them to the desired position. Also make sure that the diameter of these hole cutters are correct before you're cutting these holes. Position each and every one to the correct location. When done, we're going to select your structure and we're going to then click on the button to cut the holes. Select it and then select fixtures and cut hole. Please be patient while it's doing its work. Get out of transparent mode and then analyze your work. I'm going to then select Control I and H to hide and just to have a look and see if everything is complete. And this basically completes your structure.